Have you ever wondered why we conduct the primary current injection test at the rated current of a circuit? Many times, I have been asked to justify this test and why we should invest money in purchasing a primary current injection kit. Well, today, I am going to explain why this test is so important. By the end of this video, you will have a clear answer to this question. Let's start by understanding what the primary current injection test is. The primary current injection test is essential for high voltage and high current substations or circuits. It simply involves flowing the rated current in the circuit being tested. For example, if a circuit is rated at 2000 amps, then 2000 amps of current must be injected into the circuit to ensure the overall healthiness of the equipment and the proper functioning of the protection scheme. Now let's talk about the importance of this test. Primary injection test is the final commissioning check to confirm that all equipment and protection schemes are working as designed. This test also helps in checking the polarity of connected CTs, which is verified through a stability test. To understand stability test, let's consider a circuit with differential protection, also known as protection 87. Under normal conditions, there should be no differential current through the relay. But what if during commissioning, CTs were connected with the wrong polarities? In this case, a net differential current will flow through the relay. If this value exceeds the relay setting, the differential protection will operate and trip the breaker. This is not what we want. By performing a primary injection test, we can verify the CT connections. If the differential current in the relay is zero, then CT polarities are correct. However, if the differential current is equal to the sum of the individual CT secondary currents, it means the CTs are connected with the wrong polarity. This allows us to take corrective action before the system goes operational, preventing unnecessary tripping and ensuring the reliability of the protection system. Another major advantage of conducting a primary injection test is detecting loose connections. If there is a loose connection in the circuit, sparking may occur at the joint when the rated current is flowing during the primary injection test. However, if low current is used in testing, the spark may not be visible. Hotspots may also form in joints with loose connections, and this test helps in identifying and rectifying these issues before commissioning the system. So, as you can see, the primary current injection test is crucial for verifying equipment health, ensuring proper protection system operation, checking CT polarity, and detecting loose connections. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you'd like to support our work, you can click the thanks button for a one-time contribution or join our channel by clicking the join button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.